Hi you guys, what's up? Today is Thursday. I'm driving currently. I have Lonnie in the car and the baby. We're on our way to Duncan to get some refreshments. I don't even know what I'm gonna get. I just know we're gonna go to Duncan because I need to go to Walmart, get some more formula. Lonnie is going to Colorado for spring break, so I also need to get her some toiletries, like travel sizes and stuff. And I gotta get a few other things um, from Walmart, like protein oatmeal and stuff. And yeah, that's what we're getting into. And I got my lashes done, Brie did my lashes. These are cashmere lashes. Yes, very much luxurious, I love them. They're so lightweight, I could barely feel them on my eyes. They don't feel crunchy, they're just, if you can get your hands on some cashmere lashes or if your tech can get their hands on some cashmere lashes, get them life-changing okay guys change of plan so they just opened a caribou coffee up so we're gonna have caribou instead i'm super excited i did like the biggest ugliest u-turn you could think of i went all the way around just to come all the way back so i really wanted caribou instead of duncan um they have caribou back home where i'm from in cali so i'm really excited to get this I got a glutenless um, artichoke, spinach, and egg white uh, muffin sandwich. Lonnie got a blueberry bagel with cream cheese. And then she got some type of kula kala kula lata something. It was like a super tongue twister. And then I also got um, a honey lavender espresso shaker. I'm really excited to try that honey lavender espresso shaker that sounds like it's gonna be so good so i'm excited we're in line we're waiting our total came to like around 20 something so not too horrible probably about around the equivalent of starbucks prices i i think okay this is it this is the honey lavender espresso shaker from caribou okay first impressions let's see what it's getting It's good. Like, whoever made this, I can tell they actually are a coffee drinker. Because sometimes you go places and you get your drink made and it's with coffee. And you can tell that the person that made it overloaded it with sugar. They drown out the actual taste of the coffee itself, like the roast. And it tastes like trash. But this, oh, this is giving coffee, baby. This is coffee. I wrote my name on the bag in blue. Not a big deal, but you know, it's the little things. It's the little things that make me happy. <laughs> okay, now I'm getting ready to try the gluten-free, or it was called glutenless artichoke spinach and egg white sandwich. So let's see. It looks like <laughs> the bread is sticking. It looks like this. And um okay, I was about to say I don't see any artichoke, but yeah, it's on there. Let's see. Mm. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Caribou. My new fave. My new fave that I can actually get to in the state. <laughs> so yeah, 10 out of 10. What is up, you guys? Today is Friday. Good morning, by the way. It's morning. I'm drinking this Oxy Shred. I'm getting ready to get on the Peloton because I am not going to the gym this morning. Um, I have baby M with me and I, I just, it's easier if I just work out at home pretty much. Like I'm not doing all that driving around, dropping him off. And so I'll just work out at home today, getting ready to get on the bike. They had a new Cardi B class yesterday that I signed up for, but I missed it because we had to take Lonnie to the airport and while we were taking her to the airport, that's when I received the freaking notification that the class was starting in 30 minutes and we still had over an hour drive. So there was no way I was gonna make it. Anyways, long story short, hopefully that it's pre-recorded and I can enjoy it that way. Every time I'm about to get on my Peloton, I think of that part in Why Did I Get Married? Um, where Jill Scott is like about to drive up the mountain and she's like I'm going up this mountain to save my marriage because when they increase uh, the resistance on the ride 
that's exactly what it feels like. Like you're riding a bike up a steep, steep, steep slope. I made it in the Cardi B class, y'all. There are 575 people in this class right now. And it's not even live, so you know it was bumping yesterday. Ooh, I'm excited. Y'all, the there past. are no intervals Here. in this ride. All right, that's just my no intensities. Just a ride. I'm so happy. Oh, this is going to be a bomb way to go into the weekend. She lied to me. She just increased the resistance, guys. 40 resistance. And even why is so lit right now in this class. <laughs> Look how sweaty I am. That ride was everything. I bookmarked it. I'll definitely be repeating that class. Y'all, it was over a thousand people in the pre-recorded class just now. So I'm just still like in awe because imagine how many people were in the live stream class. Wish I was in the live stream class. I mean, this was lit, but live stream just hits different. But with this whole Cardi B playlist, I feel like today, this definitely set the tone for what I'll be listening to today. So it's probably gonna be like an all Cardi day. Um, I don't know how big her catalog is, but <laughs> if I can like just do all my stuff today to Cardi, then I'm gonna do that because it set the tone for the day and I'm hype and I'm in a great mood. I was, thank God, able to move my body. So anytime I have the blessing to move my body, I'm gonna move my body regardless of what that looks like. If it's working out, if it's dancing, if it's swimming, if it's walking trails, if it's hiking, whatever it is, I'm gonna move my body. I was workout obsessed prior to my pregnancy and I'm just so happy and grateful to God that I'm getting back to myself, like really getting back to myself, like who I was. Okay, you guys, so we're about to get into the skincare routine for the day. Yes, I have this, um, it's called like a slink or a slip or something but it's like a sack for and all my hair is in it i just like pushed it all in there but yes i have to wear this because the baby has gotten into that phase where he's pulling hair and it's like that grip of baby that babies have it's like a death grip for real like so i'm trying to save myself the trouble and just act like I have common sense and go ahead and put my hair up so I'm not getting hold on every five seconds um but yeah so I'm about to show you guys the lineup for the day I've been using this new brand that I incorporated into my routine it's called facial I really really love it um, and today I'm going to be trying the Naturium Dew Glow Moisturizer SPF for the first time. I've heard really good things about this sunscreen, so we're going to see what it gives. So the molecules are in there, some snail mucin, the facial products I told you guys about. I also have a lip jelly from Facial that I absolutely am loving right now. It's so effective and it doesn't take much. Um, and then that and the Thayer's uh, Rose Petal uh, Facial Witch Hazel Mist with Aloe Vera also for my tongue. really cute little sponges that I got from Amazon um, to start lathering my face. It's like you wet it and um, you wash your face with it, right? Like it expands with the water. So I'm gonna use this to go ahead and get the lather started. And I, I'm pretty sure they're in my Amazon store, but they don't really expand a whole lot. They just look like this, that's the little thickness once you got the water. And now I'm going to go in with the Facial Bare Necessity Hyaluronic Gel Cleanser. And this is a low, like a low foaming cleanser because it's a gel cleanser. 
so you'll see like there's a little foam there it's not too much I do like the Materium sunscreen. I will be honest, I was a little worried and like hoping that it wouldn't leave a white cast and I'm happy to report that it didn't. And my skin actually looks very naturally dewy. That, that was what I wanted, so she's a keeper. She is a keeper. Okay, now I'm now I'm getting some work done, finishing up editing the vlog for last week. But this vlog that I'm editing, um, by the time this vlog goes up, that I'm doing now for you guys, you'll see the one that I'm editing. It'll already be up. Um, I'm getting ready to have a Chobani Greek yogurt, black cherry flavor. You guys, these are really high in protein. I think it's like 12 grams or something crazy. Let me see. Yeah, it's 12 grams in this little cup. Um, having some mushroom coffee, my Ray Dunn mug, the plant a kiss one, and two veggie sausage patties. And I'm just gonna get some work done. And then after this, I'm gonna clean up the house. It's gonna be a chill Friday. Real chill, real laid back, just winding down. It's Easter weekend. We don't really have any plans for Easter. We were planning on going to church, but I'm a little intimidated. Um, just because it's a holiday and you know for some reason on holidays everybody and their mama wants to go to church and I do not want to sit in overflow like if you're one minute late even if the service hasn't started you're considered late because there's so many people in there and it's like packed to capacity on every holiday so I want to go but I'm gonna be bummed out if I don't go but I'll also be kind of relieved because I won't have to really fight with the crowd to get in and out of the parking lot or to get seated so good morning today is Saturday it's Saturday morning making the baby a bottle he's watching hey bear and I'm getting ready to make um, some eggs and turkey bacon I've been craving bacon for like the past week so I'm gonna have some. Turns out we actually have some. I don't know why I didn't have any sooner, but yeah. sports research collagen peptides to my coffee this is unflavored I prefer unflavored I also take it in capsules but today I'm just gonna put it in my coffee
So Brianna found these gems at Walmart. These are gel-like LA girl colors. They were only $1.97 each and they look so pretty on. Look at the shine, like a dollar. Hey you guys, so it's still Saturday. It's a lot of time later. It's about five, no, I think that clock is wrong. I think it's six, it's 625. I'm on my way to pick up my mom to take her out for her birthday um, just to dinner like you know a nice little dinner we didn't get to do anything together because she was out of the country and <laughs> I couldn't go so yeah I'm gonna take her to Barcelona um, I know that it's like a wine bar tapas situation she's like a wine connoisseur she loves wine so she doesn't know where we're going yet I wanted to make it special we were supposed to do some other stuff today but plans uh got ruined by unexpected changes so we'll just save those for some other time but yeah i'm on my way to pick her up I'm wearing something super cute this is like a linen pelpum top from h&m earrings chunky gold hoops are from pretty little thing i have on my regular jewelry my wedding bands um my jade ring my Cartier pinky ring and then my super cute little watch and I can't remember where this watch is from oh it's from luxury co it's from it's from let me be correct C it's from CC luxury co CC luxury co it's super cute <clears throat> And it was really reasonable. I love it. It's dainty. It's feminine. So yeah, those are the vibes. Here's the bag for the night. And something's in my throat. So I'm going to talk to you guys later. Okay, really quick. I had to get some water because there was something in my throat. But I wanted to show you guys the shoe that I'm wearing tonight. These are by J.W. Pay. I believe that's how you pronounce it. J.W. Pay, J.W. P. Look how sick these are, you guys like look how sick these are I've been wanting them for a while but usually when I want something I like stock it and I really make sure that it makes sense in my wardrobe before I commit to buying it um, and those make sense they're really beautiful I love them so much so this is my first time wearing them though so hopefully they don't hurt hopefully they're comfortable we'll see days I've been pretty busy with work and stuff today was a busy morning all I've eaten so far is a banana and some coffee do not recommend I definitely need to eat something um, but I'm doing a 
weekly mask, weekly maintenance mask. This is the Caudalie Vino Pure Mask. I love this mask. And I can really feel the results every time I use it. Like it says, you only need to use it for five minutes. It says it purifies within five minutes. But I like to leave it on until I can't move my mouth anymore and until like it's super duper tight. So that's what I'm doing. Um, been in meetings like back to back to back all morning. And yeah, this is all I've been doing. This is it. And the baby's here, of course, in the living room watching Hey Bear. The only ones to do it best, Hey Bear. Okay, so I can barely move my mouth. For me, AKA that indicates success. The mask is working. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off. But the reason that I'm doing a mask weekly, which I did not do in the past, it's because my hormonal acne has been crazy for like the past two weeks. I haven't really changed my diet much. So I'm not sure what it could be coming from. I've been working out regularly, making sure that I'm sweating out any toxins. So I don't know. We'll 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 have to we'll have to trial and error it. But yeah, like all along my jawline, I've just been getting the craziest breakouts, babes. Like it looks like pepperoni pizza along my jawline and you would think that all I was eating was pepperoni pizza the way these breakouts keep coming from me left and right trying to take me out of the glass skin game but I'm not standing for it getting ready to wash this off I'm gonna go in afterwards uh, with the same stuff that you guys saw me use earlier which is the facial do hyaluronic serum using the Thayer's rose facial mist Putting on my snail mucin. This is by COSRX, 10 out of 10. And then I'm gonna go in with the Naturium Dew Glow Sunscreen. Okay, my face is nice and clean. I did the mask and I feel like it worked. I always feel like it works when I use it though. So let me just be hopeful for no more breakouts. I'm getting ready to wash, <clears throat> excuse me, my lashes which I'm using my daughter's um, lash shampoo that she offers her clients, the Beat by Brie, okay, period. She beats down faces. She does lashes, she does nails, she does all the things. Um, but yeah, I just take some of this, rub it on my eyelids like this. And then she also offers like kits that has this little brush in it. She gives a care card, letting you know how to care for your lashes, all the good things. And I'm just gonna go ahead and wash this off my eyes now, gently. Now I'm just using a spoolie and this is also provided in her lash aftercare kit. And it's super cute too. I like that she pays attention to detail and just going ahead and brushing out my lashes. But yeah, look how cute this spoolie is. It's like black. It has like black speckled glitter in it. It's super cute. I don't know if you guys can see it. But yeah, this is the routine currently for the morning. And now I need to go find me something to eat because I'm starving and Hi y'all. So today is Today is Thursday. It's been a few days since I vlogged. Um, probably because nothing eventful has been going on. And I'm sorry, I'm putting this stuff on while I'm talking. It's the Elf Squeeze Me Lip Balm. The one that I showed in like a previous vlog that I got. It's flavor strawberry. Works so good, so good. But I'm on my way to the gym. A um, few days have passed. I cooked for Easter at home. I showed you guys that. It was pretty chilled. Food came out great. Um, what else? I went to Barcelona Wine Bar. And I didn't get to review it. It was awesome. I loved everything about it. And my mom loved it too. So it was a success. She had a couple wine flights. Um, so she was feeling nice. She enjoyed herself. And that was my ultimate goal. So I was really pleased with that. And that's about it. You know, I'm a nine to five girly, so I the week doesn't get too jazzy. Like the, the jazziest it'll get is us going to the gym 
or us going shopping or us going to like Sephora or something during the week and getting a few little goodies in the mail, like some packages here and there. But yeah, I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I'm going to that new Planet Fitness I told you guys about by my house. It's actually really nice in there. Like I underestimated them. Okay, sorry, I had to switch out batteries. But yeah, that Planet Fitness, the one that they built new by my house, is actually really nice. And I would like to personally apologize to Planet Fitness for abandoning them um, when I lived in my old neighborhood. So I'm going to go there now. Um, and they have like a lot of cool different little things you can use in there, like the... I think it's like the red light machine, the massage chairs, if you have the black card, and the um, hydro massage beds, which I love to use. I always use those. So, yeah, I'm going to go to the gym now. Hopefully, I can stay on the Stairmaster for as long as I want. I'm trying to do like 45 minutes to an hour, and I'm really just trying to focus on shredding right now because I'm still trying to get rid of my baby weight, so... I had some of my Oxy Shred, the Bahama Breeze flavor, and yeah, let's get it. I'm trying this. The next time I come, I'm definitely trying this thing. I didn't even know they had this. Look. Fancy. Okay, you guys. So, I'm just now leaving Planet Fitness. It is 10 o'clock like hello i got here at 8 15. i guess i was just that into the workout but now i gotta go home and it's super late and i need to find something to eat right because i'm not going to bed hungry i don't do that um i think i'm gonna have <coughs> excuse me i think i'm gonna have some tuna with um lime juice and a little salt and pepper and relish for some reason i've been loving relish lately and i don't even know why like i i put relish on my hot dogs at times but not all the time so i don't know the obvious craving for relish was was weird i'm not pregnant just full disclaimer i am not pregnant i'm been there done that that was last year this year i am outside i'm on a yacht in dubai in a thong just kidding not in the thong but you get you get the gist like I'm I'm trying to be outside this year um so what I did I did a little bit of hit I did Stairmaster I did warm up on the treadmill I did um Russian twist I did squats and then I did a little bit of upper body work with some light weights five to ten pounds just kind of tossing them around to engage my muscles and my arms so I did that, and then as you, well, you didn't see. I don't know. I, I was too relaxed. Those little hydro bed massage things are super relaxing in there. So if you have a Planet Fitness membership, just upgrade it to a black card, even if you want to do it temporarily just to try out the little perks that they have because they're actually very beneficial. The hydro bed massage thingy, I love. I always use that after every workout when I come here. And then, like I showed you guys, they have this new thing called like a wellness pod where you could get aromatherapy uh, coming out of it, all types of fancy stuff. So next time I come, I'm going to try that wellness pod. And I'm obviously listening to Kali Uchis on my way home. Like, if you know me, then you know how I feel about Kali. I love Kelly Uchis. Like, I wish I could have went to her concert when she came to Atlanta last year, but I was big and pregnant and huge and always tired, and I just wanted to eat and lay down all the time. So, hopefully, she just had a baby. If she comes this year, it's up. Like, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there for sure. People are really psychotic because why are you outside on the street driving crazy at 10 p.m.? Hello, 
party people today is friday we are me and brianna we're on our way to sephora to get a pickup order that i did online because they finally got my shade back in the charlotte tilbury skin tint i i've been obsessed with it since i tried it so we're gonna go pick that up and then um i need to get a few groceries and then we also are gonna figure out what we're eating because I'm starving all I had today was a bagel and some coffee so yeah I'm running on E like fumes smoke dust do it tonight hey guys we what's up what's up what's up <laughs> Nah, just playing. So we're going to Target right now. I thought we were going to Nordstrom Rack. Okay, so we're going to Nordstrom Rack, which is right down the street from Target. Y'all, full disclosure, we had some Prosecco when we went to eat. And I, it hit me like Mad Dog 45, like from the gas station. It was so strong, y'all. We only had one drink. We had one drink. We are not drunk, no. right? Because I'm a mother. <laughs> And I'm driving. To be fair, responsible. To be fair, I had it on an empty stomach, so it's hitting me more, right? And then these people in this van next to me looking crazy, but we having a good time, like. And I thought we were going to Nordstrom Rack. She's saying Target. I'm like, what do you say? Because Target for? right down the street. Say? Target right down the street from Nordstrom Rack. But yeah, that's where we're going. So I'm we see y'all when we get there. I'm okay. <laughs> Okay, y'all, we just got home and Brianna asked me if Pinot I had Pinot. some more wine. What what did you call the name? Pinot Gringo. Pinot Gringo. <laughs> it's Pinot Grigio. And she said it was a straight face. <laughs> yeah. Really quick, I wanted to show you guys what I got. I'm laughing at Brianna. I wanted to show you guys what I got um, while we were out today. And I also had Amazon package delivery. <sighs> Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna start off with what I got from Sephora. Cause I told you guys earlier, I went and picked up an order. I had to go back to the tried and true. The Dr. Dennis Gross uh, Alpha Beta Peels. I'm gonna use these for the jawline acne that I've been getting that I'm telling you guys about. So I'm gonna try these and I know I'm looking a little unkept right now and that's okay, it happens, I'm human. Oh, I look worse than a little unkept? No, I didn't say that. Your eyes did. I took a little peeksy. No. <laughs> and here I get some more Dr. Dennis Gross pads. And then I got, I've been wanting to try Rare Beauty. Lonnie uses Rare Beauty and she's been telling me that she thinks I would really like it. That the line is really good. She thinks I really like it. They came out with a new blush color. So I thought it was pretty. I got it in a travel size just so I could try it out and see how it looks on me. And this shade is called Happy. And it looks like this. Very pretty. Like a corally pink. Really nice for summer and spring so i got that and of course i got my og my charlotte tilbury flawless filter i got the big dog bottle because this is what i needed and this is oh you know what i lied this is the <laughs> this is the setting spray that i use and it's the airbrush um flawless filter charlotte tilbury setting spray well it's the airbrush flawless setting spray let me be politically correct sneaky. Brianna? Just read it. Mm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> because I know you see me doing something. I know you know that's funny. Like. Brianna. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. And this is the Hollywood Flawless Filter that I always get. This is the skin tint. My shade is 5.5 for summertime. I like to get it. I'm actually a 5, but I like to get it in a 5.5 because I like to have it a little more tan. You know just for the overall effect and this is that color Let's see it's not focusing there we go yeah that's my shade on the bottom so i think this blush is gonna look really cute with it I'm excited to try brianna I'm next place we went 
was the Nordstrom Rack, and I just got a few bits there, some of the stuff that I already use. And it was nice. It's a new location on Scenic Highway in Snellville. Um, and they had a lot of nice stuff in there, like clothes, shoes-wise. But all I got is um, just some more of the L'Occitane shower oil, the almond shower oil that I always use. I ran out of both of my big bottles, saw this, and decided to just pick it up. It'll hold me over for a few days. It's like 18 bucks. And then I also got the Malin and Getz eucalyptus deodorant, which I've been wanting to try because I'm a Malin and Getz fanatic. Um, I love Malin and Getz. Everything that they make, I love. So I'm gonna try this out. It smells so good and fresh, like just natural eucalyptus. Okay, from Amazon, I got some more toothpaste. This is the Marvis Jasmine Mints. This is Italian toothpaste, 10 out of 10. And I got some crackers, like in different flavors for snacking. Um, that me and Brianna are about to try. I'll show you the flavors. Oh yeah, and I didn't show you guys my outfit because it's just super cash. I have on like this Skims body skin tee and some Skims black sweatpants and some Nikes. Let me get this thing open, hold on. Okay, you guys, finally got the box open. This is the Craze Snack Sweet Mix. So we have coconut toasted crackers. Sweet corn toasted crackers. Guava toasted crackers. They smell sweet. Okay, I'm cracker cheersing with Brianna. We're trying guava. Mmm, crunchy. I do taste guava. Next up, we're gonna try sweet corn. Here. Thank you. And mine. We got a little, little, little oh, <laughs> cracker cheers. Mm. Definitely tastes like corn. Next we're trying coconut. Brianna. Thank you. Subtly smells like coconut. Cracker cheers. This one seems lighter, like the texture. Like it's still, it's still crunchy. It's, crunchy. it's still crunchy, but I feel like it's it's thinner. It, yeah. The coconut is really good. It does taste good. The aftertaste. Mm-hmm. Coconut, 10 out of 10. I give the guava 7.5. What do you give it? I give it like a, I give it like a six. Corn? I give that like an, I give that like an eight. I'll give corn an 8.2, but coconut gets a 10. Yeah, I do. Coconut's like hitting. It. Well guys, sadly, this vlog has come to an end, but no worries. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Have a great weekend. Bye. Oh. This is more than a crime